Facts are stubborn things. Just ask Gary Delabate. From high atop the Howard Stern Building in Midtown Manhattan, no more bullshit. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Mike Hambrick. Remember those TV commercials with the two rams high in the mountains bamming heads time after time after time? Well, that's the king of all media and show executive producer Gary Delabate. neither giving an inch when it comes to who is dependable. It's Howard 100 News, behind the scenes. One year ago, exactly, you labeled a number of people on the staff undependable because they didn't come in during the hurricane. Today, we interviewed Gary, and he said he would do everything exactly the same. He wouldn't come into work. Your reaction? Some people call it Hurricane Sandy. Do you know what I call it? What? I call it the day I found out who's dependable. That's that's it. Howard and Gary, neither one willing to give an inch on this, the one-year anniversary of Hurricane Sandy. Stern Show executive producer Gary Delabate telling us if he had to do it all again, he wouldn't have come into work that fateful day last year. He would do it all the same. Howard reinforcing his stance that he expects his staff to show up to work. Listen, you know, my father ingrained in me that he never missed a day of work. There would be blizzards. There would be, you know, probably just want to get the fuck away from me. But he never he he made it into work. And either you have that work ethic or you don't. Now I understand when the guys say they have to protect their families, but looking at our crew, I don't know what about them thinks they could protect anybody. John Lieberman, Howard, one hundred News. Tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific, it's the Howard 100 News Week in Review. That's on Howard 101. Think there's no story? Bullshit. 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 This is Howard 100 News. History in the making. Howard 100 News was there for the taping of the first Kitten Bowl to air on the Hallmark Channel Super Bowl Sunday. It's Howard 100 News on the scene. While we got that cat on the goalpost, Julian take him down and give him a penalty for like illegal climbing. All in a day's work at the taping of the Kitten Bowl that will air Super Bowl Sunday on the Hallmark Channel. The show's director giving out some important cues to the kitten referee, professional ref Julian Starks. Illegal climbing 15 yards lost it down what is a penalty in a game like this oh well yesterday i called several uh one of them was uh excessive um furriness cuddling (laughs) so it sounds like you're having fun oh it's awesome the kitten bowl includes 70 kittens which will be running around a set that looks like a miniature football field howard stern's wife beth is the host for the show i am just walking people through what's happening i'm actually on the field sometimes watching the chaos the kitty chaos happen. Also in the mix, New York Yankees play-by-play announcer John Sterling. We change their names, give them football names. Instead of Terrell Owens, it's Farrell Owens. The Kitten Bowl doesn't air until February.